It's that time again. It's that time where we take a look at a shit movie that came out in 2024. The shittest movie of the week is uh, Bike Riders. I don't have a lot to say about this movie, so do you expect a shorter video than normal. However, this does star quite a few, you know, A-game actors. We have the guy that played Elvis and the guy from Dune. Also, Tom Hardy's here. It is a pretty high-cast movie, because we even have Daryl Dixon from um, The Walking Dead making a surprise appearance, which I did not expect. However, this movie is not worth your time watching. Uh, the best part about this movie was that I had a pina colada to go with it. Uh, the entire movie was quite boring and was done from a narrated sort of perspective. I went into this movie expecting like something to do with bike riders, gangs, fighting, something like along the lines of Tokyo Revengers or Windbreaker. But what I got was something completely different, which I did not enjoy. So The Bike Riders is a 2023 crime crime movie, which is one hour and 56 minutes. It felt like fucking four watching this movie. It has a 6.9 out of 10 on IMDb and an 81% of Rotten Tomatoes. I don't have a fucking clue how they managed to get that score so high. I don't know why they gave it that high of a score. But over the course of a decade, a Midwestern motorcycle club evolves from gathering place for local outsiders to a sinister gang, threatening the original group's way of life. So how this movie is, is we have one of the bike riders is like this very wild card who is really strong, really good at bike riding, and is constantly getting in trouble with the police and constantly getting in trouble for wearing his colours. If you don't want to, if you don't know what colours are, they are like the leather jacket, the jean jacket with the logo of the bike club on the back. And it's called Colours. And it starts off with him getting his ass beat by two guys and hit on the back of the head with a shovel. We then cut like to the past where it sort of goes into the creation of the motorbike group, where there's a group of girls sat in like a laundromat, which is like a big building with a load of washing machines in it where you go to pay to wash your clothes. And they're talking about these biker gang, these biker guys, and how the group started with like Tom Hardy setting it up because he watched a movie and wanted something like that where people could like call home. And they basically just went around riding bikes and fighting people pretty basic generic stuff then they sort of started to recruit new people like from other towns and start sort of branching out into like little sub clubs across the entirety of the usa so obviously stuff started to get a little bit out of hand for tom hardy he was the leader he wanted to pass it on to um i forgot his name uh it began with a b just gonna call him brody uh body braddy brad I don't know. Body. We'll call him Body. And Benny, Benny, Benny. His name's Benny. That's it. Um, so he wanted to pass it on to Benny, but Benny said no. And Benny then disappeared because he didn't like the direction the new group was going because all the new sort of members were beating the shit out of the older members for threatening to leave the group because they were getting too old for it. They didn't want to do it anymore. And they were also threatening to sort of like riot. And there was a lot more people wanting to challenge tom hardy to take over the group and one of the challenges that he took uh basically ended his entire career because he got shot the group is then now run by like teenagers who are basically actual vandals like breaking shit tagging shit spray painting killing people and executing sort of members that want to leave we have two of the original crew still riding with them, but not enjoying it, but they feel too scared to leave, and everyone else managed to escape, and obviously our main guy, Benny, he quit, stopped riding when he found out Tom Hardy died, and basically turned into a mechanic. And that's pretty much where the movie ends. Um, yeah, I quickly ran through that as fast as possible, because this movie isn't that exciting it's literally just a list of stuff that happens and it keeps cutting back to the narrator's life like way in the future where they're talking about their past and that really pissed me off because i didn't like her accent the fake accent that she was putting on was so groaning and so draining it sort of gnawed at your brain and not like your head it was it was awful it was such a bad accent and obviously the characters that Tom Hardy also put a really shit accent as well. I'm, I'm sorry, I love Tom Hardy, but his accent was crap in this movie. And then Benny was like my favorite character, but 
he was really quiet and he was just he was just like the strong silent type and i don't know i don't know what i expected from this movie i expected something like fast and the furious where it's all about bikers bike riding fighting and stuff like that but it, it it wasn't it was sort of the development of one biker crew over like decades and that's why it felt like such a long movie because it tried to fit in like a decade's worth of stuff into like an hour and 56 minutes which again i didn't really give a shit about there was no fighting there was no sort of bike rivalry there was no none of that there was just fighting within the own club and like watching the club slowly devolve and slowly like get out of hand and slowly turn to shit and watching tom hardy slowly struggle to you know do it all slowly struggle to take care of it all and manage it all and it was all getting too overwhelming for him so he just ended up getting himself killed and I, can't, I, I don't know, it just it kind of felt very underwhelming, and it just wasn't the type of movie that I was expecting. I went into this movie with really high hopes, and the trailer did not disappoint. However, the movie did. The movie was nothing like the trailer. Like The trailer set this movie up to be something that it really wasn't. And calling it a crime crime was really shit. I would have rather have watched a documentary, because that's what this kind of was or was trying to be it was a sort of documentary movie about this ancient bike rider group called the chicago vandals and it just wasn't that good it wasn't that entertaining i hated it i i kept looking at the time i was clock watching to see how long we had left in the movie i went on my phone and i debated falling asleep not gonna lie it it was it was not a good movie and it was not a good sort of start to the movie. I'm not excited. Uh you know, I'm not your mum, I'm not your dad, I'm not your dog, I'm not your, your cat, gerbil, snake, auntie, uncle, sister, brother. I'm I, I, I have no authority over you. I'm just a stranger on the internet and I'm gonna give you some advice. Don't watch this movie. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your effort. You will hate watching it and I hated watching it. I sat through it to get a review out of it. I sat through it for you guys. I sat through it to make this video here to warn you to not watch this movie. Because no matter how long you sit there telling yourself, oh, I'm sure it gets better. I'm sure this movie is going to be better. I'm sure it gets interesting. I'm sure it picks up at some point. It doesn't. You're telling yourself lies. And you shouldn't want to lie to yourself. Lying to yourself is bad. It is a terrible, terrible movie. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10. I don't know how Rotten Tomatoes or IMDb gave it this high of a ranking, gave it that high of a rating. It does not deserve it. The story is all over the place. The story is just a list of things that happened, and it's boring. It has no consistency, and it's very slow as well. And it, like, drags on and drags on and, like, milks every scene for all it's worth. The actors are pretty decent. Again, like I said, there is a bunch of A-cast actors here with a load of, like, really good celebrities and loads of really good actors. And I think they try their best to make the film as good as it can be. But there's there's no saving this movie. They 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 Even those guys can't save this movie. It was not not good in the slightest. I'm sorry. It was It was whack. So, um, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. Uh, I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, sad. Uh, I promise to have a little bit of a lighter hearted video over the next couple of days. But, uh, like I said, other than that, goodbye. Stay home and stay safe. And if you want a little bit more time pricing your life, check out the link in the description, which will take you to everything else that I have to offer as a content creator from my Instagram to my TikTok to my Facebook to um, Cameo and everything else like that. Bye bye.